The legend of Faust's Pact with the Devil seems to have started life as a small booklet called The History of Dr. Johann Faustus, which was published in Germany in 1587. It's believed that the story told in the booklet was based on the life of either Johann Fust, who lived in the early 1400s, or, more likely, Johann Georg Faust, who lived from 1480 to 1540. This real-life Faust was a magician, alchemist and astrologer, with a very chequered history. Whatever the truth of Faustus himself, that publication from 1587 formed the basis for the first play based on the Faust legend, Christopher Marlowe's Elizabethan tragedy, The Tragical History of Dr Faustus. The most influential retelling of the Faust legend was by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Since it was written in 1808, Goethe's play has inspired a great deal of literature, art and music. Faust featured in his first movie in 1904 in a film made by Georges Méliès, one of the pioneers of the cinema and innovators of cinematic special effects. The German expressionist director Friedrich Mernhau, he created Nosferatu, the first of all the vampire movies, directed his film version of Faust in 1926. The French composer Charles Gounod had ambitions to compose a Faust opera as early as the 1840s, but it took a meeting with the well-established opera librettists Jules Barbier and Michel Carré in 1855 to really crystallise the idea. Carré had already written a three-act play based on Goethe's Faust and it was this work that provided the basis for Gounod's opera. The opera was commissioned by Monsieur Cavallo, the manager of the Théâtre Lyrique, with the proviso that his wife, Caroline Cavallo, would sing the role of Marguerite. Guno finished writing the music in the autumn of 1858 and it immediately went into what turned out to be a very challenging rehearsal period. The score that Guno delivered contained far too much music for a normal evening at the opera, so the rehearsals involved cutting many of the numbers and rearranging others to different places in the story. And by the early dress rehearsals, it had become clear that the tenor, singing Faust, wasn't able to cope with the part and a replacement had to be brought in with only three weeks' notice. But in spite of the difficulties in rehearsal, the first run at the Théâtre Lyrique was successful, and the work was soon touring in Germany, Italy, Belgium and England. When it was revived in Paris in 1862, it was a hit. And, ironically, Gounod had to write extra music so that a ballet could be added as required by the managers of the Paris Opera. The opera remains one of the most frequently performed operas across the globe. <laughs>